Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabolski. Well, if you want to see a team playing with confidence right now, you have come to the right place because the home squad is on fire. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Red Wings will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it over to Steele. Gain momentum up along the side. Moves it to Holmstrom. Stopped by the goaltender. Receives the pass. Oh, fantastic save by Anderson. Hammers it on the net. He scores! That's how you do it. Leadership to a team. The captain capitalizes. I hear coaches preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Boston's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. <laughs> but one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you are ready right from puck stop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Broken up in the neutral zone by Steele. The Bruins have it now. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Oh, he got pummeled by Knight. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Grabs the puck. Sider's got control of it now behind the cage. Quick pass to Raymond. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. And he takes the pass. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And another save. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official delay penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Pasternak's team has the advantage here with the power play, and it's an opportunity for him to use his zone ability and maybe even help the team wipe the lamp. Taken by Quinn. Hammers the net. Let's go! It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. There it is, and he's leading his team in goals for a reason, James. He's got a real knack for the net and uncanny ability to disguise his shot. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Bruins now lead by two. Boston's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Slides the pass over to McAvoy. Handles the pass. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Denied that one. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Solid body contact. The Red Wings gain possession. 
Quick feed to Besser. Detroit's got the puck against the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Carlo. Slides the puck to Kiki. Boston's on the attack. And makes the save. Here's a short pass to Kopp. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a chance behind the net. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Fires it! There's a save! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And look at this! They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker! And some physicality here! Oh, what a stop on the play! Detroit's got him along the wall. The Bruins grab possession to the puck. Directed over to Saka. Here's a chance! And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Loses his balance on the play. Slides it back to the blue line. Denies him! He got all of it! The Red Wings move it ahead. Fires it! What a stop right there! Quick pass to Saka. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Puck scooped up by Bertuzzi. And now it's to Raymond. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. The Red Wings have it in the offensive zone. Counters it on net. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Jerseys, hats, keychains, you name it. Smartphone cases. They got you covered at the team store. Check them out online or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Boston's going to start with the puck in their own end. Tosses it on to Steele. And somehow he hangs on. Centering P. What a chance, but that goes off target off a body in front. Stops that one. And he makes that save as well. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Boston's been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals. Simple as that. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it to Lindholm. And it's a quick pass to Holmstrom. Quick shot. Denies him on the play. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Here we go, lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Scores! Number 30 on the season, he's done it! Are you kidding me, James? What a milestone for him. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. You gotta keep your eye on him if you're the opponent because he gets rid of it fast. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. The Red Wings desperately needed that one here. They did, and one of the key elements for them to have success is to support the puck. Feel like they've been isolated a lot in this game, but a lot of runway left over a period to play in order to get back in. Takes it across the blue line. Control of it at the point. Score! Look at that. They answer right back. Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. Boston's got a lot of 
skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here, period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence in which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. And now he passes up to Steele. Puts it on him, and he gets in front of that. Anderson's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum at this game if they want to get back in it. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. The Bruins have played from the defensive zone. Through center. Centering feed. The Bruins have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. And they'll start with possession. Quick feed to Lindholm. And now it's grabbed by Rasmussen. Takes the feed. Gains the zone through the middle. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Quinn's called for tripping. He's off to the box. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Slip feed. Slides the puck across to Carlo. From the slot. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Zach has won the draw inside his own end. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Angles it over to Saka. Into the corner now. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Raymond's got it along the wing. Tremendous stop with the blocker by Knight. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quinn's penalty is almost expired. A feed out front. What shot. Taken along the wall by Foodie. Boston's got it in their own zone. Here they come on the attack. Turns him away. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. The Bruins have it against the wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And he takes the dish. Now a quick pass to Zaka. Pokes it away in his own end. Raymond's got it in the defensive end. Broken up by Steele. Look out! There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. The Bruins have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Off the draw, they take possession. Puck grab by Quinn. Wall. The Red Wings gain control of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Cops got the puck. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Picked up along the wall by DeMillo. And that's off target as it hits a body. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Passes it over to Haig. Tries to get the puck to Torpchenko. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Gains the zone from the right. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Tries to the crease. And that pass is redirected. From one point man to another. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. 
sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a prime time scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Chance in front! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Slides it over with pace to Bergren. The Bruins get a hold of it. Unable to reach that one. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Feeds it on over to Kiki. The center team! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Look at this down the right wing, they're on the attack. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck to Chatfield. Boston's got it in their own zone. Through center along the wing. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. There it is, that's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action, next. The Bruins have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Still a fifth period here, last chance to try to get back into it in what has been a dominant affair so far. Well, two periods down, here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Detroit's behind in this game, one reason only, James. Look between the pipes, a hot goaltender who's seeing absolutely everything and is dialed in. So you know what you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to find a way to get someone, one, two, double screen, staff, anything to take away their eyes. Here's a short pass to Siegenthaler. And that's turned to sci-fi night. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off someone in front. Trying to engage a little physicality here. The Bruins go to work on offense. Denies him with the save. Works it across to Raven. And he takes the feed. Sends the pass over. Scores! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here. Well, it's the magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it, and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. The Red Wings don't have time on their side, but they're starting to scratch back. They're scratching back, they're clawing back, but they're going to have to take some offensive chances. D are going to have to start jumping in, opening up lanes, and creating odd man rushes. The Bruins have it now. Quick pass to Pasternak. Here's a chance on the attack. Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two challenges on the score sheet, James, but I love this game. As well, I think that he's had a hard nose on the floor check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. Boston's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. From the left side, takes the pass. Tried to get 2 Q with it and loses possession. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Boston's got the puck in the corner. To the left side! shooter had the mentality just shoot it right away on the inside of the post just recognizing that there was enough of an opening and I think that the goaltender thought it was covered Boston 
Is that it? Get another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Taken by Sider. Scooped up along the wall by Comfort. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Let's see what the officials say. The Bruins will serve two for slashing. The Red Wings send their men advantage unit out once more. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Here's a shot. And turns aside the slapper with ease. Detroit's game possession along the boards. In all alone! Oh, the eyes him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Denied by the goaltender. Takes the feed at the point. Can't connect as it goes off the stick. Knights got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. Detroit's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh. Scores! There it is! A power play goal! Man, that looked like a goal scorer's goal. Just a knack for the net, but it all comes off of a beautiful distribution. I mean, just eyes in the back of the head to be able to give that gift right to the stick. Detroit's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Slides the puck over. And a great save! Drills them. That knocks him off the puck. With possession along the wall. Fires it on net. And that's blocked from someone in front. Here he is. Shot right in front. Answered the call on that play. Moves it to Wolfstrom. And he takes the feed. Into the middle of the neutral zone. bertuzzi has been leading the... Scores! Oh, Pretzel, James, I mean, to go between the legs, to know that you're in limited time, limited space, and to show with that kind of skill set between the legs and bury it, unbelievable. The Red Wings haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they fuck. Positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back on this two goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They're going to find a way to get some chances. Puck picked up by Lindholm. McAvoy stick handling in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Saka. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Sider. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. And that pass attempt is deflected. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Moves it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out-battle, when you out will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Good check. Frees the puck up. Zaka's got it in the offensive zone. Takes the puck behind the net. Takes the feet at the back end. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. The Bruins gain the zone. Centering pass. Nobody comes up with a stop. Slides it quickly.
complete to Comper. Picked up along the boards by Siegenthaler. Puck dumped in, they'll go off for a breather. McAvoy's taking it from his own end. Grabbed along the boards by McKenna. Here's a pass in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! I love this snapshot from in tight James that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Boston's performance tonight still showing no signs of let-up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let-up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Quick feed to McKenna. Along the half wall with the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Moves the puck. Tries to feed it over to Bertuzzi. And he comes up with a stop there. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Canadians are up next according to the league's schedule makers. And no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available. Should be a good one. Larkin's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Played big in the moment there. Here's a short pass to Foody. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Here's a pass in front. The shot. Oh, what a stop by Anderson. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight.